Okay. Watch these white people. I don't really know how to go live, so I mean, we're not. So we're gonna do it this way. I see everyone making all these videos and etc. Why is it that the gross line and the poverty line are the same when it comes to job and family services? Why is that? Why is it that someone like me, yeah, I live on disability, and yes, my husband works, but he also pays out almost a good chunk of his money to support for his children, which is the right thing to do, which isn't the issue. The issue is that though that they go by his growth and they take quite a bit of his money towards the children, which is fine. But why are they counting money though that we don't have? Is I guess the question. It would be like saying, telling your electric company, hey, leave my electric on till March. I'll pay you in March when I get my taxes back, which is what John Family Services is actually doing. They're actually counting that money that you don't have. How do they even know that you're going to guarantee to be able to get that money back at the end of the year? What if something happens? What if, um, you know, what if you don't get that money back? So they're counting money that you don't even have. So then when you need to go to the grocery store, can you do that too? Can you say, well, here, here's Monopoly money. Here's an IOU. Take this money until, you know, I get this money and then I'll pay you. They're not going to give you your groceries. They're not going to leave your electric on. Things are not going to go that way. But yet Job and Family Services and the state seems to want to do it to everyone else. So why is this? Well, I called my representative. I asked him. He didn't have an answer. Still doesn't have an answer because I even asked him and he still, guess what? He doesn't have an answer. He still went over his words too. Yeah, there's a lot of other factors at play, but why is it that most people in the state of Ohio cannot feed their families? And then they were talking about this 61,000 percent, or 61,000 people who were going to lose their assistance because of a loophole that the state was using. Really? I just want to understand how they expect people to make it when a gallon of milk is almost $3 a gallon now and groceries are not cheap. So they're supposed to be there to help. They're not helping. Um, yeah, just the question, why is that poverty line and why is the gross line the same? Because if you were, if you had that gross in your pocket, you wouldn't be poor, obviously. Just a question. So yeah, just um, yeah. Let's let's see what answers everyone has. Yeah, I'll get yeah, sure. Get a better paying job. <laughs> kind of hard when you can't read or write very well, and you have other factors that affect you. Oh, so, yeah, because you have to take your gas money to feed your family. So yeah, that was just kind of my question. So I'm interested to hear what everyone has to say. And trust me, if you're a government official, if you think you're smart and you have the answer, or you think you can help me budget my money to make it last longer, let me know. Because right now I'm at the point where I pick and choose between my bills and then I put food in my family's mouth because we don't like to go hungry. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 I'm fat. I get it. But that's beside the point. I have to feed my children. How am I supposed to do that? Just food for thought.